Hey guys, I'm Camille, sister number one, and today I'm going to be sharing with you my creamy white chicken chili recipe. Soup season is here. This is one of my favorites, so stick around. Fall is one of my very most favorite seasons, and soup is just the perfect meal to feed your family because it's warm, it's hearty, it's filling, and this recipe is so easy to do. Um, and I'm even going to show you a shortcut that will make it even easier, if that's possible. But um, so before we get started, make sure you subscribe to our channel. We have recipes like this every day, so you're going to want to stick around and check out all the yummy things that we're cooking up in our kitchen. But let's jump right in and get going. So I'm gonna start with just some olive oil, um, one or two tablespoons, put it in the bottom of your stock pot. Um, and let's see, I'm cooking this over a medium high heat. And then I have one onion here that I've chopped up. And I'm gonna throw that right in. You can hear that sizzle. It smells amazing. Give it a stir and you just wanna cook this until your onions are tender. You'll start to see them turn translucent and that's how you know they are done. So cook those for a couple of minutes. Okay, so once your onions are done, it's time to add in the rest of the ingredients. It's basically a dump and go recipe, so it doesn't get any easier. Now, you could use raw chicken and cook it with the onions, but I like to just grab a rotisserie chicken from the grocery store, shed it up, shred it up, and then you're gonna dump it in. So I've got about two cups here of shredded chicken. And then I'm going to add two cans of white beans. If you're watching your sodium intake, make sure that you get a less sodium. But these have been drained and rinsed, and I'm just gonna add them in. The next thing I'm gonna add is a can of chicken broth. Once again, if you're looking to reduce your sodium, make sure you get a less sodium, but just dump that in on top. And then one of my favorite ingredients in this, I love green chilies. This is just a can of diced green chilies. You don't even have to drain it. You're just gonna go ahead and dump it in to your pot. Okay, we'll give it a quick stir, get everything mixed together. Those green chilies smell amazing in this. They give it so much flavor. They don't really give it heat. So this is a very kid-friendly dish. So don't be intimidated when you hear the word chilies. So now we're gonna season it up. I'm gonna do a teaspoon of cumin. So sprinkle that on top. And then I'm gonna do a teaspoon of salt. And then I've got a teaspoon of oregano. And then if you've got some ground black pepper, just throw some on top, you can do as much or as little as you want. I'm aiming for about a half teaspoon. Grind it up. Okay, there's that. And then last but not least, we're gonna do a pinch of cayenne pepper. This doesn't really add heat. Like I said, it's a kid-friendly dish, but it does add some flavor. It really just brings out a lot of the different flavors going on. So it's totally optional, but I recommend it. Okay. And that basically is it. You are gonna let this simmer for about 30 minutes, um, just on medium to medium heat. And just kind of let those flavors melt together as they just simmer. Okay, we'll let this simmer and then we'll come right back. Okay, after this has been simmering for 30 minutes, it's time to add the good stuff that's gonna make it creamy. So, I've got some whipping cream here. You could also use half and half, or if you're trying to watch calories, you could even do a, a fat-free half and half. Um, all of them will make it super creamy and super good, but you just need a half cup of this. So this is um, just a half pint. I'm gonna pour in half of it. So there's that. And then I'm gonna add one cup of sour cream. Now this is a light sour cream and it still turns out delicious, but um, you can do full fat or you can do fat free, whatever your family likes, it will work perfect for this. And then you're just gonna go ahead and mix that all together and suddenly it starts to look all creamy and delicious. Okay, so once you've added the sour cream and the whipping cream, it's time to serve it. You wanna serve this immediately, but 
that's it. Just like that, dinner is done and on the table. We're all about those quick and easy dinners. If you need help with recipes like this that you can feed your family in a short amount of time, be sure to check out our menu plans. I've linked to them below. But if you like this recipe, give it a thumbs up or leave a comment and tell us your favorite fall soup recipe. We'd love to hear them. Thanks for joining me in my kitchen. I'll see you next time. For more delicious recipes just like this one, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Also, be sure to check out more of our favorite recipes right here on Six Sister Stuff.